All right, my beautiful loves, let's go ahead and um, get started here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So my loves, let's go ahead and start with some channeled messages, okay? So Aries, in the channeled messages, there was major warning. Now, I don't know if this is going to resonate with the actual reading or if this is just meant for somebody, but major warning here, okay? Um, I feel like Spirit is telling you not to make any quick decisions at this time because someone here is going to come in with an offer, an apology, a conversation, something, okay? And at face value, you're going to look at this and be like, there's no way this could be a bad decision. There's no way I could get hurt by doing this because the person that is giving this offer seems so stable, so grounded, so sweet and sincere when they do this, you would think, yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? The problem is, is that this person is not safe and fine. This person is, you know, might be controlling or nasty, negative, jealous, out for their own best interests, okay? Selfish. Um, somebody here is wanting you to make a decision um, that benefits them, but they're going to make it seem like it benefits you. So just be careful with that, okay? So let's see here. Tell me about Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance. Okay. So we've got Faith in the Reverse, Taurus Energy, and we have the Nine of Wands in the Reverse. We've got the Sun card, Leo Energy, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles in the Reverse, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo Energy, and the Page of Pentacles in the Reverse. Under the deck, King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. Okay. So Aries, this could be your energy. This could be your person's energy. Take it as it resonates, okay? Aries, I feel, I feel here that somebody, uh, again, that Hierophant card is a representation of contracts, okay? It's a representation of contracts, promises, marriage. Um, and with the Nine of Wands in the reverse, I feel like somebody here is coming forward to get someone to promise something because they're vulnerable. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like someone here is just vulnerable. Their defenses aren't up. So they don't see something like this coming with the Hierophant in the reverse. Do you see what I'm saying? With the Sun card and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Spirit is saying, Aries... Aries, there you are, Aries, wait, there you go with the hanged man, okay, wait, high priestess, use your intuition here, because with the sun card and the queen of pentacles in the reverse, the person that's coming towards you doesn't have money, they don't have a job, they're not stable, whatever the case may be, you're dealing with someone here that is not trustworthy page of pentacles in the reverse, whatever they're offering, whatever they're promising, it's, it's a lie. It's a straight up lie. This person with the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles may quite possibly be out for your money, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It doesn't have to be. Um, that someone here is just trying to, this is an energy of, hey, babe, let's go move in together. Let's sign a lease together and I'll, I'll go 50-50 on the rent. And then when you guys move in, it, there is no 50-50 taking place. You're paying the, all the rent. Do you see what I'm saying? It's that type of scenario where someone here is going to entice you to sign something or promise something um, under the pretense that they're stable and to be trusted. And that's just not the case. So be careful. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is, in fact, emotional manipulation. Okay, I feel like someone here is being very emotionally, emotionally manipulative to get someone to promise something 
they should not be promising. Three of Pentacles under the deck. I feel like there may be a lawyer, you know, involved, a third party involved. There may be, um, you know, so it's like it's like you have to go to a courthouse and sign something, or go to a lawyer and sign something, or you know, it's it's definitely a promise. You know, tell me about the Nine of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Two of Wands, and we have the King of Wands. I feel like. Aries, someone here is promising you the world. The Two of Wands talks about looking out on the horizon, looking at the distance, thinking about your future. I feel that you have to make a choice here, Aries. Um, now, they're either promising you the world of a, of a good future, or you're making a decision based on the fact that you're in a vulnerable position, okay, uh, with this person. You know, you're, you're making a decision based on, uh, you know, that this person maybe they know how to talk to you to get you to be vulnerable. We've got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. They're going to come at you very sweet like Aries. Don't trust it. Don't trust it, okay? Tell me about the Sun card here for Aries. The chariot in the reverse, the chariot in the upright, Cancerian energy speaks on making good decisions that will lead to victory and success. In the reverse, it's telling you don't make a decision. If you make a decision, it's not going to be a good one. Okay, so be wary of that. Tell me about the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Eight of pentacles in the reverse and the emperor, Aries Taurus energy. So Aries, here's how this is going to go. This person wants to a promise out of you of some sort. They are not going to put any work in. They are not going to put any money in. What they will do with the emperor energy is have complete and total control over the situation. Okay, so you're putting yourself in a position where you're the king of wands, this person's emperor. So this person will be above you. They will be able to control you in some way, shape or form, and they will do nothing. So you will have to do all the work. Okay, they're not going to put any money. They're not going to put any effort. They're not going to put anything in. Okay, um, it's time to use your intuition here, Aries, and ask yourself with the two of pentacles and the ten of cups, is this person really out for my best interest? Okay, tell me about this page of pentacles in the reverse and the ace of wands. This person is promising you a place to live, a new career, blah, blah, blah. You know, something new, something passionate, something amazing, something that you really want. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, it's a lie. Okay, it's a lie. Uh, Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords, this is, could be an indication of someone convincing you to move um, and you're going to suffer for it. Or someone is convincing you that, listen, this really sucks right now. If you just sign here on the dotted line, uh, this will be better. Like, for instance, I don't know, if there's something that needs to be done in the house and this person's like, listen, we really need a new bathroom. Can you just sign here on the dotted line so that we have a new bathroom? Because Six of Swords energy, we don't want to live like this anymore right we want a nice bathroom right so with the nine of swords energy this is somebody putting pressure on the other person of oh well you can make it all better do you understand page of wands three of wands envisioning oh can't you imagine when we finally have this and we finally have a nice car and we finally have that meanwhile it's like they're 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 emotionally manipulating by causing a fantasy you see what i'm saying aries and with the seven of swords though they're taking advantage it's a lie because with the five of pentacles and the tower you're going to put money and and work into something that isn't yours because with the tower and the five of pentacles it's going to be taken from you so don't sign on the dotted line don't buy this person a car don't co-sign for anything don't move in with anybody don't put your name on a house because whatever it is this person has more authority than you and you will lose it okay you will lose it and all that time and energy is going to be for nothing Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Aries, please. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. 
the Two of Cups and the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. So let me tell you something here, Aries. This is the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Look, you see how we've got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse right here? This is somebody that is not working on anything. And with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who's going to forget what you did real quickly. You never replaced the roof. No, you didn't. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, someone's going to have that type of attitude. You know what I'm saying? Like, they put no work into anything. You never did all the landscaping outside. What are you talking about? Meanwhile, you, like, did the whole yard, you know? Like, this person's going to be very quick to forget whatever work you did. And they're quick to forget because they didn't put any work in. Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. This person is very up and down. It's not a solid person, okay? Two of Cups and the Hierophant, one minute they're promising the world, one minute they're someplace else, okay? I feel like this is somebody that is just all over the place. They're juggling too many things, multitasking. This could be even someone that's juggling you with someone else, all right? So just be careful, because this is someone who is has too many balls in the air to be someone that is in a Two of Cups and Hierophant situation. Two of Cups and Hierophant situation is marriage, long-term commitment, stability, and Two of Pentacles is juggling. Literally, like, just, you know, they don't even know which if they're coming or going, right? So be careful here, uh, Aries. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. King of Pentacles in the Justice card. King of Pentacles and the Justice, Justice card. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. I feel here that this person is going to expect you to do right by them. They're going to expect you to pay for things. They're going to expect you to fix things. They're going to expect you to do all the responsible things. While with the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, this person does nothing. And I mean nothing. Okay? Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And then when you, um, I don't like the way that popped out, but then when, if you should bring it up, Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, they remember nothing. You didn't do that. The hanged man in the reverse, Piscean energy. After all that time, you're going to come to realize that this person with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse doesn't even acknowledge anything that you're doing. They're not investing anything into this financially. You're going to realize this too late. Okay, and by the time you realize this, this person has already won. They've already gotten what they need out of you, so be careful. Two of Pentacles here for Aries. And the Three of Cups. Aries, be careful here. There may be a third party involved. Okay, there may be a third party involved here. There may actually be another person that's with this, per whether it's romantic or not trying to play you okay tell me about the two of cups here for aries the two of cups for aries on top of the two of cups and tell me about the hierophant please queen of wands in the reverse leo sag aries energy guys this is someone that's playing games this is somebody that is non-committal this is somebody that uses sex to manipulate this is somebody that you know gets attention in very bad ways this is somebody that um goes into emotional rages and outbursts this is somebody that just you know very selfish energy very domineering energy very controlling energy possessive energy um yeah, you got to be careful here, Aries, because this is somebody that um, is doing whatever they want to do. This is somebody that's doing whatever they want to do. They expect you to walk a straight line and they do whatever they want to do. And whatever you invest in this will be lost. Tell me about the challenge here for Aries, please. The challenge for Aries, please. Okay, so we've got Queen of Swords, Aries Energy, could be Sag, could be Leo, King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, and the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Aries, this is very simple. Smarten up and you won't have any worries. The challenge here is, is that you have to stand your ground, regain your confidence, you know, the, the, the King of Swords is somebody that is able to put their emotions to the side and start thinking with their head. The man with the plan. This is somebody very intelligent, okay? Gain control over your emotions with the King of Cups energy here. And once you do that, 
you'll have no worries. But the challenge is overcoming that. Overcoming emotions, guilt, fear, love, anger. Overcoming your emotions. You're, you're very emotional at this time. Overcoming that is the challenge. But once you do, you'll be at peace. Tell me about the outcome here. The outcome here, please, for Aries. Yeah. And there you go, Aries. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. The Seven of Cups. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy. Aries, you're going to have somebody come in with an offer. And with the Seven of Cups, it's going to be an illusion. It's going to be confusion. It's going to be chaos. This person's going to twist your head into making you think that this is the best decision for you with the Chariot and the Upright. With the Seven of Swords, this person is lying. Okay, they are lying. Four of Swords and the Hermit, take your time before you make any decisions and with the world card and the devil card when you realize what this person is really up to and what you're attached to shut the karmic cycle okay capricorn energy all right so guys you've been warned i love you guys and i'll see you soon bye my loves